Hello guys and welcome back to the Python series for beginners. And here is where we left off with the with the print command with hello world. And today I'm going to be talking about variables and data types. So first, what is a variable? If you want to think of a variable, think of it as it as it is like a box storing some data. And that's it. That's what it is in code. So it's simply just a kind of like a box that stores data. So how to create a variable? First, you need to write the variable's name, which is, uh, in my case, I'm just gonna write A. Now, there are some invalid variable names. Just like, so valid variable names <coughs> should have no special signs, should have no numbers at the beginning, no, could be in the middle or the end, and also should have no um, spaces. So if you wanna, do a space, just use an underscore. That's the only thing that you can actually use. So, uh, if we create a variable name now called hello world, now, now it's wrong because we put a space here. So instead of that, underscore. And then uh, after that, we're going to write equal. And then we're going to set the variable equal to one of the four data types. Now, what are the four data types? The four data types are string, integer, uh, float, and boolean. Now string, which is str encoding, uh, is exactly what we've been using the last video, which is anything that is surrounded by single quotes or double quotes. It's called a string, so it's simply just anything you write in between uh, single quotes and double quotes. Int, which is integer, is simply numbers. So last, last video, I showed you an example about writing a number without uh, kind of a single quotes and double quotes. This is called an integer. That, and that's why addition works with integers, but not with strings. The third data type is float. Now float is like integer, but it's a decimal point. So it has a decimal point. If it has a decimal point, then it's a float. The, four, the fourth data type is a bool, is a boolean. So a boolean is simply true or false. So right here, we just delete that. And I'm gonna show you an example of, okay, maybe we can't really print out Boolean, but just keep in mind that Boolean is true or false. And now something that could help you in uh, kind of assign, like assigning a Boolean to a variable, you can really just type one or two. Now, sometimes you can't do, do this because it thinks that it's an integer, but let's go back to the variable name that we did before, hello world. And then let's try an example of each data type. So let's try um, maybe string first. Data type hello. So here when you create a variable, you can actually uh, kind of print the variable in the print command. You could just write, uh, let me just put, Something in the value here that I did. Yeah, so here we can just type the variable name without any single or double quotes. So just type it and even use the underscore when you're typing the variable name in the pre -command. Okay, now if you run it, you see that it prints hello on the screen instead of printing hello world. That's because Hello world is the box that's storing the data. Hello. That's why. Right. Now let's try it with an integer. So let's just type zero or let's just type 67. You see it prints out 67 on the screen. Now what if we try and add um, these two together with a variable? It gives you the result. So even with a string, it's just combines them together, doesn't give you the result. Now, uh, something also that I can do with variables is adding two variables together. So if you, so when you wanna do this is when like you have some mathematical equations you wanna solve. So let's set A to nine. Let's set B to maybe maybe 56. 
and then let's type here print a plus b. If you run it, see it works. Uh, it gives you the result of the these two numbers that are in a and b. That's because these are two are combined. Now, adding them using variables is just like saying print. Just like saying print uh, 56 plus 9. So you can use that or you can say print A plus B. Now this is it pretty much for variables and data types but you gotta be careful with adding but something else you gotta be careful with adding integer and strings. So if you like wanna say, say you, you have A is 90, say B is a string and it's, uh, well, 56 and with a string. If you say A plus B, run, it gives you an error because you can't add an integer with a string. So to fix this, you can simply just go into the variable here or into the syntax. Now better into the syntax, I'm gonna explain why later and set whatever you want into like string or integer. So in our case, let's say we want to set 56 into an integer. We don't have to, like sometimes we need to variable to stay a string, but in some cases you need to be an integer. Simply just type the command in and then surround the variable you want to turn into an integer by some parentheses. Now, if you run it, it doesn't give you an error and it gives you the results. That's because you turn it to an integer. Now, say uh, you want to turn something into a string. Say maybe you want to turn a into a string. Simply type str and surround it with parentheses. Just like that. Now, if you run, you see it combines them instead of giving the result. So when you so when you're turning into a string or integer. You need to be careful about which which uh, kind of variable or thing you turn because it really affects when it comes to integer and uh, strings. Now you can do the same in the variable, but you don't really want to type the variable as another type. Now what you could do here is you could type maybe like one, you can type bool, which is boolean. And then just change one into a boolean. Now, same mistake. You can't really add the string with anything except for string. But if you turn that string into something else, right, let's try and do another bool. So, bool. Let's try zero. Say the two inputs are one and zero. C gives us one. Now let's see if kind of like the two inputs are one. Okay, here it's counting it as an integer, but don't care about that right now. Bool is kind of like a boolean of two inputs on or off or one and two. So, zero and one. so this is pretty much going to be it for variables and data types. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you, if you enjoyed the video and want to see more, be sure to leave a like in this video and subscribe if you haven't done yet. Again, thanks for watching. See you soon.